Hey there everyone, how's everyone going? Oh, how's everyone doing? Should I roll up as he's saying? Um, starting off this lovely review of, or doing a review of the brand new uh, Intel Assault Cruiser, which is the T6, basically the T6 version of the Sovereign class, uh, or if people don't know what that is, the Enterprise E. So, um, let's kickstart the review, shall we? So, first glance of it, I've actually got a modified version just because not a big fan of the uh, of the Archon class on how it looks, but I will get to the looks in a minute. Uh, I prefer the Sovereign class, so I've mainly got all the Sovereign pieces other than the hull, which is the Archon. Just because, I mean, look at that deflected dish, it looks really nice. <laughs> it looks really nice, it's pretty. Um, but yeah, it's it's a glor it's glorious, and I'm so happy that they brought it in because I've been waiting for absolute donkeys ever for them to bring this in because it's a fantastic little ship. Um, so what it comes with? Let me take you up to the top. There we go. So it comes with your four half, your four four uh, weapon slots, four half weapon slots as well. Uh, you have four device slots. Obviously, you still have your standard, your shield, deflector, impulse, and warp drive. Uh, now, however, on the engineering consoles, you have five engineering consoles, two science, however, and only three tactical. Um, which, depending on what you're going for, could hinder you a little bit, depending on what type of character you are, you know, where you're tactical, etc., etc. Um, or, you know what, it may actually just be absolutely fine. There may be no issues with it. Um, stats I'm running at the moment, they're not the most impressive, but, you know, they, they most certainly get the job done, as you can have a quick... Again, yeah, no, I'm not much of a PvP person when it comes to my engineering class ships because I am a tactical officer, so it's beneficial for me to actually do tactical ships. So I don't really build my engineering for any PvP, so they're all PvP based. So a lot of people just say you can slap whatever you want on there and it will be hunky dory. Um, however, you should always really go to try and maximise your, your ship out as possible. Hence why, if you ever look at my ship, I don't have anything other than phases on it with the one torpedo slot. You don't need really need more, more than one torpedo slot, to be honest. If you put a torpedo slot at the back, don't bother. Just rip it out, put another omnidirectional in there. If you've only got one, put another omnidirectional in there. Bear in mind, you can only have one crafted and one reward omnidirectional. So, do pick wisely. Uh, mastery skills, let's take on to the mastery. Um, I've played a little bit with the ship, hence why I've got the... Mastery tier one already unlocked. Uh, you have your absorbed hull plating, which gives the 25 physical damage and kinetic damage. You have rapid repairs. Obviously, you can regenerate 858 of my hull, 1.2% of your current max every 30 seconds in space, twice as amount is regenerated out of combat. Uh, you have your enhanced hull plating, which gives the plus 25 energy energy damage resistance rating and the radiation damage resistance rating, which is good because you know how those Borg love to hit you with a lot of radiation damage. Uh, you have the armoured hull, giving you 10% more hull hit points. Then you have the speci specialist knowledge, uh, which is obviously your tier 5 trait, which is your ship trait that you'll get. Uh, enhances specific powers to self minus 20% recharge time on engineering bridge officer abilities. Can only occur once every five seconds. Um, so that's not bad. I mean, uh, engineering abilities wise, I actually use a lot of a lot of um, uh, energy modulation, whatever it is, to pass through the shields like for my energy weapons to pass through the shields. Um, so having a 20% cooldown time on that every five seconds wouldn't actually be too bad and it would be pretty a pretty good thing to look out for um but again depending on what your officers are if you're an engineering officer it'll be absolutely fantastic and absolutely right for you um the ship itself it has a few different uh different abilities to it but i'm going to take you into the space so i'm going to show you i'll try and find it first time on the uh shipyard lady let's see if i can find it first time so i can just show you what you come with because i believe you get off shield modifier of only one unfortunately but that's you know it's not the worst in the world really is it i don't think it is let's uh nail it let's take you in there and let's have a quick look um I mean, it's fantastic i've been waiting for so long for it because i when i first started playing they had just released it recently on the PC, this ship, um, and I've just been waiting ever since just to be able to get it. And I've got lots and lots of ships, and I love all my ships because they, you know, they all look fantastic. They're all fantastic ships, everything like that. Um, even my alien ships, you know, 
in my alien ships. But um, let's take her over to the lady now. Let's take her over to the little ass. Yeah, sure, we'll get a new starship. Let's have T6. Cruisers. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's going to be on Intel. Here it is. Okay, so you can see here you have a base hull of 52,000. Shield modifier of 1. Base turn rate of 7. Eh. Um, and obviously you've got your four uh, device slots I've seen. You have two tactical officer stations, uh, two engineering, and then you have a universal Intel one. And so it's it's really not that that bad. Um, so what I'm going to do now is whilst I'm here, I'm actually going to take you over to the modifier. Let's actually show you what the you know all the different variations of it. Um, I won't be saving it because. I don't like the other variations as much as I like the one I've got on now. So you can see that's my current at the moment, it's just a play on. So you can have a look at the Archon, which is, uh, the engines I hate. The rest of it is, is still okay actually, it's, it's actually not bad at all. The engines bug me, they really bug me, I really don't like it. But it's not a bad looking ship, so that's one of the variations. Obviously, if you do get the tier 6 version, obviously, this is the one you're going to be getting. Um, you have your Majestic. The uh, hull is absolutely diabolical. The rest of it, again, isn't too bad. I've seen worse, but that hull is just, I mean, look at that deflector. It's so tiny. I don't know what you're going to be deflecting with that. Uh, the Regent. Pretty decent, actually. The Regent's actually quite a nice looking ship. It's got a nice hull to it. Uh, the engines are alright, yeah, it's got that it's got that nice dip in the, the hole or neck on the instance of the ship. Um, it's quite slimline actually, it's quite thin. Um, it's, not bad, it's not bad. Obviously you have the classic, you have the Sovereign. You can probably see why I have the deflector of the Archon, or the hull of the, the, hull of the Archon, because I just think the deflector looks so much nicer. So much better, but I mean, this you know, this is the classic, really. Let's, let's face it, it is a classic. Uh, and the last one we have is the Noble. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the pylons just because I don't like how gappy they are. Just like one one Spurs torpedo is just gonna rip your engine off, but other than that, everything else again looks pretty, pretty decent. Um, although looking at it that way, actually, it looks like a spoon. Take the engines off, it's a spoon. Although, to be honest, let's face it, most ships softly has our spoons. Um, so yeah, so the, that's, again, that's why I'm not going to be changing it. I like the variation that I have currently. So, what I'm going to do... Check up here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's quite a few visuals you can chuck on there. So let's see what... What visuals can I lob on? Let's go. F uh, there they are. Hmm. What ones should I try? Let's go for a random one. I'm actually going to close my eyes here and let's just go for a random one. And uh, no, 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 that one. Oh, the Bajoran. Oh my. Or should I be like, oh my? Yeah, let's let's take that off. Anyway, let's take you back into space and we will try and find a lovely space encounter just to show you how she handles. Like I said, I've actually already played a little bit with her um, and I think you know, it, it works really well. I mean, it, it works just as well, I believe, as the, the tier 5 version. So if you're a fan of the tier 5 version, then obviously get the tier 6 version. Why wouldn't you? Look at it. So let's depart system, ever so rapidly like. I am very, you know, I'm, I am quite enjoying the quite enjoying the game still. Um, obviously they brought out recent DLCs, this and the other. Obviously Victory of Victory is Life will be coming soon to the console. Um, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, why am I facing the other way? That's strange. Uh, can I instance jump? See if I can find. See if I can find what I need to find. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, there's one. Right there. To other side. 
let's fly on there. So with the ship you do also get a console which is actually what I'm going to show you now. Which is this one here, the uh, well, it's a phase cloaking device really. Given a 1% critical chance plus 50 starship tactical readiness which works out pretty well for me because you know that extra and you've got everything that's on the screen here the reason I'm not going to go through it is just because I'm probably actually yep there we go I am actually at the uh, I'm actually at the deep space encounter now let's go in let's have a quick little gander what's going on here I think there are probably better weapons actually that you could actually chuck on this girl rather than just phasers, but that's what I actually want to put on it because it's a little bit nostalgia, you know. Stick with you know, step phasers, you know. The, the, the Enterprise E had phasers, uh, standard phasers, you know. Well, well, to be honest, most of the ships had standard phasers. Uh, they didn't really ever have any other energy types, but again, that's, you know, Federation was mainly just phasers. Um, so I stuck some phasers on there. Ugh, oh, it's a shame there's no one else here. I really don't want to wait. So obviously having the right um, right crew abilities on and everything will really help. Um, again, this is only level this is only level 30. I'm you know I'm not expecting to be destroyed at all. Or even really take any damage. Um, but you know, we're just going to show you the capabilities of it. So obviously, the higher levels it will be, also my damage output will be higher as well. Um, you can see the turn rate here. With a few, with a turn rate console or two, actually, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, unfortunately, I do think it is a little bit slow personally. But I mean, cruisers, you know, they're not the quickest things on the, in the game. Let's be fair, they're not. Still not as slow. I uh, not as slow as a dreadnought, um, but it's yeah. Again, I'm not the quickest. Want some talks? That's fun. Oh, it just it just is such a nice little ship. And, you know, I think it's actually quite enjoyable. To, you know, I think it's quite enjoyable to fly. Um, the issue I have with the ships that have such low level, like such as this ship, where a lot of people may not even realise if the T6 has come out yet, like the like the original Constitution or the original Enterprise. Obviously, the T6 version came out, and a lot of people actually didn't know that that had actually come out. Um, but it makes me think that people look at the ship and they're going to go, oh, low level. But even a tier 5 version of this ship could actually work out really well. Um, so, I, you know what, at that point, I, I don't care, because there are worse ships I could have on. Thank you, dear. Popping in there. As far as it goes, it's a beautiful ship. It works so well. It's got a decent damage output. It's decent for it, you know, for it. It's a pretty good output. Um, it's like I said. I personally find the turn rate a little bit slow. But that's me. That's that's all I think. That's my opinion. It's slow, but it is a beautiful ship, and I absolutely love it. But there are so many ships I have which I actually adore. Um, but I think the Sovereign, you know, because of the movies, I think the Sovereign's really got a, a really got a space there. Along with the Entropy class, I think it's got a space there. It really has. It's a beautiful ship. It handles well. It plays well. Um, so if you are literally on the edge or thinking, should I buy it? Should I not? I don't know. I've still got a tier five version here. It it can work just as well. I would definitely be saying, you need to get your wallet out. Or you need to spam the game like crazy. I mean, I was this one. Usually, I'd normally buy them because you know I'm lazy um, when it comes to buying ships. I'm, I'm lazy, and my friends will vouch for that. Um, however, this time I actually got enough dilithium saved to actually buy the ship outright. And thanks to the sale that was on, I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a look. See if it's on. I don't know if it is. No, it's not. 
Um, okay, well, yeah. It was on. There was a side on, which actually helped me out quite a bit. And I had some Dilithium left over, which I decided to spend on Phoenix boxes, but I got absolute now. But going back to the subject on hand, if you are on the fence about getting this lovely ship, I, I'm here to push you over that fence. You really, really need to go and get it. Look at it. Even with how I've, how I've customized it here, it's a stunning ship. It's beautiful. Really does. There's so much customizations on it. The windows, the hull, everything. You have a full range. The bridge, everything. I would have actually quite liked a sovereign class bridge installed into the game. That would have been that would have been really good, and that would have really helped with sort of like, oh look, you know, I'm getting to fly the ship that they had in the movies, which would be fantastic again um, and that's the big downside I think about S uh, Star Trek Online I was about to say STO some of you might not realise what I'm talking about but you should do because that's kind of what this video is um, they don't really put the bridges in there to correspond with the ship which I think is a it's a bit of a bummer really I'm actually you know actually uh, upsets me a little bit because I'm like I'd love to have the Sovereign class bridge um, I, I obviously I have it for the Intrepid class I have the Voyager bridge I have the Intrepid bridge um but there's just other bridges I'd just love to have, and they need to be more transferable. But as review on this ship goes, I would 100% open your wallet, spam the game, do whatever you need to do to get hold of this ship. Even if you decide later on down the line you don't want to use it, I personally think you're going to kick yourself for not having it. So I would definitely, definitely be catching it. Uh, I would definitely buy it. 100% just because of its looks. I mean, look at it. It's so gorgeous. It's so nice. You really need to buy it. Uh, yep. You really need to buy it. Uh, but as far as it goes, I don't think you would regret ever buying this ship, to be honest. There may be better cruisers out there. But this one's just fun. It's fun to use. It really is. And I've enjoyed every moment of it. So uh, consider yourself pushed over the edge because that's what's going to happen. You're gonna, you're gonna later on. You're gonna think about what this video, and you're gonna be thinking, "Ah, huh, I think it was right." And I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I know, I am right. I am right. It's a good ship. It's a brilliant ship." So, buy it, spam whatever you have to do to get hold of it. Enjoy it. Thank me later. Um, as far as this review goes, thanks so much for for watching. Um, this will also be up on YouTube because this is a live stream. It will be going up on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching on YouTube. But either way, please leave a like and subscribe uh, if you have enjoyed the videos. Please check out my other videos as well. I have tips, tricks, all sorts of guides, reviews on ships. I mean, an awful lot if you just have hammer in there. Subscribe, watch the videos, and leave likes on the ones that you like. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you have any requests, please feel free to ask. I am open. I am here. Uh, you know, I'm happy to do all that. But again, please leave, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will appreciate it. And I will see you all again later for the next video. Thanks very much, guys.